naturally try to understand how everything around us functions, and throughout history this curiosity has helped us utilize our environment effectively and advance technologically. However, many mysteries and strange phenomena still defy explanation. From puzzling geological formations to mysterious archaeological sites, here are 20 mysterious places that scientists still can't explain. Number 20. Lake Maracaibo, Venezuela. Lake Maracaibo in Venezuela has long been relied upon by local communities for its water and fishing, of course, but there's a strange phenomenon that takes place there, and it's done so for hundreds of years. It's called Catatumbo Lightning, and it's known as the Everlasting Storm. It's a place where it's actually more likely to have a thunderstorm each night than not. These storms can produce as many as a million lightning bolts per year and last for up to 10 hours a night for 140 to 160 nights a year. The lightning is usually visible for miles around and creates an almost otherworldly feel while it's taking place. To make things even stranger, despite continual study, there still is an agreement about why exactly this phenomenon takes place in this precise location. It's believed to be the result of a unique combination of factors that are specific to the Lake Maracaibo region, with warm and moist air from the Caribbean Sea colliding with the cool air descending from the Andes Mountains, along with the lake's topography. Whether this is enough to create the perfect conditions for the storms isn't fully clear, though, and some researchers think it's also due to the oil reserves and the presence of minerals beneath the lake itself. Regardless of the cause, Catatumba lightning has become an important part of Venezuelan folklore and traditions, and it's even found its way into literature, art, and music. It has also saved countless lives over the years, as it's been so reliable throughout history that it was used by sailors and navigators as a natural lighthouse guiding them safely through the treacherous waters of Lake Maracaibo and the nearby Gulf of Venezuela. Number 19. Hestalen Valley, Norway. Hestalen Valley, which is in the central part of Norway, is a place known for its beauty but also a unique phenomenon that's caught the interest of scientists. This valley, which is around 75 miles to the south of Trondheim, is roughly 7.5 miles in length and is surrounded by lush forests, rolling hills, and tranquil rivers. It's not just the scenic landscape that brings people to the valley, though, but the mysterious lights that have been seen there since the early 1980s. These unexplained lights, known as the Hestalen lights, are a series of bright, colorful orbs of light that appear in the sky. Witnesses have reported seeing them in various colors, including white, yellow, and red, with some lasting for several seconds, while others continue for hours. The lights often move slowly, hover, or dart quickly across the sky sometimes forming patterns or changing in intensity and shape. Various theories have been proposed to explain the phenomenon. Some scientists suggest that the lights could be the result of piezoelectricity, where quartz crystals in the valley's rocks generate electric charges under pressure, leading to the displays. Others believe that the lights might be caused by ionized gas or plasma formations resulting from geological activity. There's also the suggestion that the lights could be a form of ball lightning. In response to the constant sightings, the Hestalen Automatic Measurement Station was established in 1983 to monitor and record these lights. The station is equipped with cameras and scientific instruments and has captured a number of instances of this phenomenon. The ongoing research here in the valley has led to the establishment of Project Hestalen, an international scientific collaboration aimed at understanding the lights. Still, no solutions have been definitively found, but it's hoped that the truth will be revealed soon. Number 18. The Devil's Kettle, Minnesota. The Judge C.R. Magny State Park in Minnesota is a beautiful region of protected natural beauty. While it's popular with locals for the hiking trails and camping, it's most famous for a large waterfall called the Devil's Kettle. Not just because it itself is a stunning feature, but because there's an enduring mystery surrounding the water that passes over it. It's on the Brule River that flows through the park, but just before it reaches the waterfall, around half of the water volume cascades into a deep, massive hole referred to as the Kettle. The remaining half continues to flow over the waterfall and continues as a river beneath. The enigma is what actually happens to the water that falls into the kettle. Over the years, there have been countless attempts to figure this out, including conducting dye tests, dropping GPS trackers into it, and even throwing objects like logs and ping-pong balls into the kettle with the hope that they'll re-emerge somewhere else. To their dismay, though all of these objects vanish without a trace, something that's led to rumors and legends of a series of vast underground tunnel networks and hidden caves. What makes things even stranger is that just a bit further down, the river flow significantly increases, which suggests that virtually all of the missing water does eventually return. But none of the objects, dyes, or trackers are known to have re-emerged, so it must be taking a convoluted route to get there, one that, with current technology, we're unable to fully chart or understand. Number 17. The Great Blue Hole in Belize. 
The Great Blue Hole off the coast of Belize is one of the most mysterious and famous natural wonders in the world. This is a massive underwater sinkhole, and it lies near the center of Lighthouse Reef, a small atoll that's around 43 miles from the mainland. Measuring about 984 feet or about 300 meters in diameter and 407 feet deep, the Great Blue Hole is a perfectly circular deep blue void amidst the lighter turquoise waters of the surrounding shallow reef. The Great Blue Hole gained international notoriety because of Jacques Cousteau, the legendary oceanographer who declared it one of the top 10 scuba diving sites in the world in 1971. Since then, it's become a bucket list destination for divers seeking to explore the depths. Diving here offers a chance to see stalactites and stalagmites that were formed in dry conditions before the cave was submerged. The underwater ecosystem inside the Great Blue Hole is surprisingly sparse compared to the vibrant coral reef surrounding it. However, divers can encounter several marine species such as nurse sharks, Caribbean reef sharks, and the occasional hammerhead shark. The clear deep blue water also provides excellent visibility, making it an ideal spot for underwater photography. Number 16. The Vatavara Mountain, Russia. Deep within the remote Karelia region of Russia is the mysterious Vatavara Mountain. It's the highest point in the region, reaching 1,369 feet above sea level and far away from everywhere, with the nearest settlement being 12.5 miles away to the northwest. But that hasn't stopped it from being known as one of the most mysterious places in the country. That's because this mountain is covered in a series of strange rock formations known as Vatavara stone mushrooms. They are large mushroom-shaped rocks, some reaching up to 30 feet in height, and are balanced precariously on thin stems. It was originally assumed that these were man-made and had been created by various communities who lived in the regions hundreds or thousands of years ago, but recent research has begun to suggest that they're the result of natural processes, although the method by which this happens remains a mystery. The main theory is that they were formed by glacial activity during the last ice age. As glaciers advanced and retreated, they exerted tremendous pressure on the underlying bedrock causing it to fracture and erode over thousands of years. The softer rock around the fractures eroded away, leaving behind the mushroom-shaped structures. Another theory suggests that the rocks may have been shaped by more recent events such as seismic activity or the influence of underground rivers. Local Karelian and Sami people, though, have long regarded the mountain as a sacred place and believe there's a spiritual significance to the stone mushrooms and the mountain itself. According to folklore, the stone mushrooms are the work of giants who once roamed the land, and they're said to have magical properties. Number 15. The Zone of Silence, Mexico. In modern times, it's rare to find anything that's not full of noise, but if you're looking for the ultimate peaceful surroundings, you could go to the Zone of Silence in northern Mexico. Known in Spanish as La Zona del Silencio, it's near the Bolson de Mapamay in the Chihuahuan Desert and covers parts of the states of Durango, Chihuahua, and Coahuila. It's a place that's known for a range of unexplained phenomena, including magnetic anomalies, radio signal interference, and strange reports of UFO sightings and unusual biological occurrences. The Zone of Silence first gained significant attention in the 1970s when an American missile, the Athena RTV, was launched from the White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico before veering off course and crashing into the region. Following the incident, researchers visiting the crash site reported that their radio equipment failed to function properly sparking interest in the area's peculiar electromagnetic properties. Subsequent investigations revealed that radio and television signals often can't be received within the zone, and no one's really entirely sure why. Some scientists believe these anomalies are the result of high concentrations of magnetic minerals in the region's soil, particularly magnetite, but there are plenty of other theories too. Locals and visitors have claimed to see bright orbs, unidentified flying objects, and even encountered extraterrestrial beings. These stories have fueled conspiracy theories and paranormal investigations, making the Zone of Silence a hot spot for UFO enthusiasts. In recent years, though, the Zone of Silence has attracted tourists, scientists, and paranormal investigators all wanting to explore its secrets. Guided tours offer visitors the chance to experience the region's unlikely landscape and learn about the various phenomena associated with it. It is, of course, most likely due to the formations beneath the ground that cause the strange events, but until that can be proven for certain, anything is possible. Number 14. Kawa Ijen Lake, Indonesia. The Kawa Ijen Lake in East Java, Indonesia, is an incredible natural wonder known for its striking blue-green color and the otherworldly phenomena that form across its volcanic landscape. Situated within the Ijen Crater, part of the Ijen Volcano Complex, the lake is one of the world's largest highly acidic lakes and was created by volcanic activity. The lake's waters have a pH level close to 0 
making it one of the most acidic bodies of water on Earth. This high acidity is due to the continuous release of sulfuric gases from fumaroles at the bottom of the lake, which react with the water to form sulfuric acid. The last significant eruption of Ijin was in 1999, but the volcano remains active, continually emitting gases and contributing to the lake's acidic nature. Now, what really gives the place its mysterious feeling is what takes place at night when blue flames begin to emerge from the water. This phenomenon is caused by the combustion of sulfuric gases that emerge from cracks in the crater and ignite upon contact with the oxygen-rich atmosphere, creating bright blue flames that can reach up to 16 feet in height. This mesmerizing display attracts photographers and adventurers from around the world, all wanting to see the surreal beauty of the glowing flames against the dark backdrop of the night. Number 13. The Rosslyn Chapel, Scotland. The Rosslyn Chapel, located in the village of Rosslyn just south of Edinburgh in Scotland, was built in the mid-15th century. It was founded by Sir William Sinclair, the first Earl of Caithness, in 1446. The chapel's architecture is a great example of late Gothic style, with elaborate stone carvings that cover almost every surface. These carvings include depictions of biblical scenes, various plants, and symbolic figures that reflect a blend of Christian iconography and other symbols. The apprentice pillar, in particular, stands out for its design and the legend surrounding its creation with the story being that a young apprentice sculpted the pillar to perfection in his master's absence, leading to a tragic confrontation upon the master's return. The mystery surrounding Rosslyn Chapel, however, involves the Knights Templar and Freemasonry. Some believe the chapel holds secrets related to the Holy Grail, the Ark of the Covenant, or even other hidden treasures. These theories gained widespread prominence following the publication of Dan Brown's novel The Da Vinci Code in 2003. With so many motifs throughout the chapel, it is quite possible that it was an important place for historical secret organizations or a hiding place for an important artifact, but no concrete proof of this has ever been made public. Visitors to the chapel can explore its intricate interior, with guides providing insights into its history, carvings, and the many legends that surround it, perhaps one day leading to the answers to some of those mysteries. Number 12. Tabby's Star Recent advances in technology have allowed us to look out to the stars in ways that have never been possible before. But the more we do so, the more we discover places in the universe that defy conventional understanding. One way that's used to determine whether there are planets orbiting distant stars is to measure the amount of light that's being emitted, and if there are moments when it dims, it could be a sign there's an object temporarily blocking it. Using this technique on our sun would see its light dim by a few percent when the largest planet, Jupiter, moves in front of it. But researchers have discovered a star where the light differential is far greater than this, raising the question of what could possibly be big enough to have such an effect. Tabby's star, which is officially known as KIC 8462852, is in the constellation Cygnus and around 1,400 light-years away from Earth. It was first observed as part of NASA's Kepler Space Telescope mission, which monitored thousands of stars in search of exoplanets by measuring their light curves or brightness variations. While some stars exhibit slight dips in brightness caused by transiting planets, Tabby's star shows dips of up to 20% or more, which is a significant change. The unusual and erratic nature of the dimming led to various theories and captured the imagination of scientists and the public. Some of the potential explanations for this dimming include massive comet swarms, asteroid belts, and even alien megastructures known as Dyson spheres, which could be constructed by advanced civilizations to harness a star's energy. The idea of alien megastructures, however exciting, was met with skepticism from the scientific community, and astronomers and astrophysicists worked to try to understand the phenomenon. Further observations with ground-based telescopes have now led to the likely answer being that the dimming of Tabby's star is most likely caused by a cloud of dust and debris. But still, the exact origin and the nature of this material remain uncertain. Number 11. The Gate of the Sun, Bolivia. The Gate of the Sun, known in Spanish as Puerta del Sol, is a large structure that can be seen in the ancient archaeological site of Tawanaku in Bolivia. This site, near the southeastern shore of Lake Titicaca, is an important historical place as it was once the center of the Tawanaku civilization, which thrived between 300 and 1000 AD. Carved from a single block of andesite stone, the Gate of the Sun stands about 10 feet high and 13 feet wide. Its weight is believed to be around 10 tons, and it's covered with intricate carvings and iconography reflecting the advanced craftsmanship of the Tawanaku people. At the center of the gate is the figure of the staff god, also known as Viracocha, who is a deity associated with creation and the sun. This figure is surrounded by 48 smaller winged effigies, some of which are depicted with human faces, while others have the heads of condors. The precise purpose and function of the gate of the sun remain a subject of debate. 
Some researchers believe it served as a calendar or some form of astronomical device used to track solar and celestial events. These carvings are thought to have symbolic meanings related to the Tawanaku cosmology and religious beliefs, although their exact interpretations are still not fully understood. It is quite possible, though, that it was built for a completely different reason, but with little knowledge of their language or beliefs, it's hard to know for certain. Together with the wider complex, which includes other significant structures such as the Akapana Pyramid, the Kalasasaya Temple, and the Semi-Subterranean Temple, it's clear there's far more to learn about one of the more mysterious civilizations of pre-Columbian South America, with researchers continuing their work to try to uncover more of their secrets. Number 10. The Rick Hat Structure, Mauritania. The Rick Hat Structure, also known as the Eye of the Sahara, is an amazing geological formation. This circular structure, which is around 25 miles in diameter, is so distinct that it can be seen from space, making it an important landmark for astronauts. It is, though, hard to see from ground level and despite being so big, it's still unclear exactly how it was formed. Originally thought to be an impact crater due to its circular shape, further studies revealed that the Rick Hat structure lacks the telltale signs of an impact, such as shocked quartz or a significant amount of melted rock. Instead, it's now thought to be a deeply eroded geologic dome. The structure's origin is believed to date back to a period between 100 million and 400 million years ago, during the late Proterozoic era. Some processes, including volcanic activity and erosion, have shaped it into its current form, and over millions of years, wind and water erosion gradually exposed the different layers of rock, creating the bullseye pattern that's seen today. The structure's unique appearance has also led to numerous theories about its origin. Some have suggested it might be the remnant of the lost city of Atlantis or even a man-made structure, but these ideas lack any scientific evidence and remain in the realm of myth and legend. It's still, though, so unusual that it continues to spark the imagination of people from around the world, and for those that are able to visit it in person, it's said to be quite the profound experience. Number 9. The Devil's Sea in Japan Everyone has heard about the Bermuda Triangle, where strange events have taken place for hundreds of years, but it's not the only place like that in the world. The Devil's Sea, also known as the Dragon's Triangle, is a region of the Pacific Ocean off the southeastern coast of Japan that has also been the subject of intrigue, mystery, and speculation. It's known for its countless reports of unexplained phenomena. Like the Bermuda Triangle, the Devil's Sea has a reputation for causing the disappearance of vessels and aircraft. Throughout the 20th century, there have been numerous reports of ships vanishing without a trace, sometimes accompanied by tales of strange lights or unexplained magnetic anomalies. Perhaps most famously, even a research vessel, the Keo Maru No. 5, was sent into the region to investigate the legends. It went missing, and no trace of it has ever been seen since. With an understanding of what could possibly cause phenomena like this, various theories have now been provided to explain the unusual happenings in the Devil's Sea, but none have been categorically proven. One of the more recent scientific explanations points to the fact that the region is subjected to intense underwater volcanic activity. The seabed in this area is known to have numerous underwater volcanoes, and volcanic eruptions could produce sudden, powerful disturbances in the water. This theory is supported by the occasional sightings of discolored water or floating pumice, which are common indicators of underwater volcanic activity. Another theory is that methane hydrate deposits on the ocean floor might play a role. Methane hydrates can release gas bubbles that decrease the water's density, causing ships to lose buoyancy and sink rapidly. This geologically active area could contribute to navigational anomalies and other unexplained occurrences, with the possibility that it could even be a combination of all these factors. The mystery of the Devil's Sea remains and it may never be fully understood. Number 8. The Devil's Bridge, Cromlau, Germany There are a number of structures around the world that are known as the Devil's Bridge, but there's one in particular that's known for its surreal setting and the strange sensations you feel when you're near it. Known as Racketsbruck in German, it's a beautiful stone bridge in Cromlau Park in the Saxony region of Germany. It was commissioned in 1860 by Friedrich Hermann Rotschke, a local knight who wanted a magnificent centerpiece for the park. The design and construction of it reflect the Romantic movement's emphasis on creating harmony between man-made structures and natural landscapes. It features a delicate and intricate arch that seems to defy gravity, rising steeply from the banks of the lake before meeting in a sharp apex. It is famous, of course, for the way it looks, but it's also for the myths and legends that are associated with it, most of which are rooted in the idea that the bridge is so seemingly impossible to construct that it was believed to have been built by the devil himself. According to one local legend, the devil demanded the soul of the first living being to cross the bridge as payment for his help. Ingenious villagers, however, tricked the devil by sending a goat across the bridge, thereby saving themselves and gaining a beautiful structure. 
Its perfection is in its semicircular arch. When reflected in the still waters below, it forms a perfect circle. This visual effect is best during calm weather when the water surface is undisturbed, creating a mirror-like reflection that makes the bridge appear as a complete ring. The precise design needed to make this possible was, in many ways, ahead of its time and extremely unusual when it was completed, which further added to the mystery around it. A sense that you can still feel to this day. Number 7. Baalbek, Lebanon. Baalbek, located in the Bika Valley of Lebanon, is an ancient site that continues to mystify historians and archaeologists. Known in ancient times as Heliopolis or the City of the Sun, Baalbek's ruins are among the most well-preserved remnants of Roman architecture in the Near East. There are, however, questions surrounding how it was built, considering its sheer size. One of the focal points of this mystery is the Trilithon, a series of three colossal stones in the foundation of the Temple of Jupiter. Each of these stones weighs over 800 tons, making them some of the largest stones of their kind in the world. Despite extensive research, historians and engineers remain puzzled about how these massive stones were transported from the quarry. The logistics of moving and positioning such enormous stones with the technology available in ancient times remain a subject of debate. It was the largest temple in the Roman Empire, featuring 54 gigantic columns, each standing over 70 feet tall and weighing approximately 60 tons. The scale of this temple has led some to speculate that the site may have had particular significance, or it might have served a purpose beyond worship, perhaps as an astronomical observatory or a monumental platform for important ceremonies, with remnants there from the Phoenician, Roman, Byzantine, and Islamic periods, which complicate attempts to fully understand its origins and purpose. There are many myths about the place that enforce this mystique. Local legend speaks of giants who once lived in the region and built the enormous structures, with some believing that the site was built with the assistance of supernatural beings or even extraterrestrials, given the inexplicable nature of the stonework and the technology required for such an undertaking. Number 6. The Seven Colored Earths, Mauritius. There are countless geological wonders around the world, and even though we know how most of them have been formed, they still manage to evoke a sense of mystery around them. One of the most impressive you can see is the Seven Colored Earths, which is in the Chamerel Plain in the Riviere Noir district of southwestern Mauritius. Covering an area of around 81,000 square feet or just over 7,500 square meters, a series of hills are known for creating a surreal landscape where seven distinct colors, red, brown, violet, green, blue, purple, and yellow, create a natural artwork. The origins of it date back millions of years to volcanic activity that shaped Mauritius. The dunes are composed of basaltic lava that was weathered and transformed into clay minerals. The coloration then comes from the presence of different metal oxides in the soil. Iron and aluminum compounds contribute to the reddish-brown and purple hues, while the presence of manganese creates the blue and green shades. Over time, weathering in the tropical climate of Mauritius has enhanced the vividness of these colors, making the site a natural wonder. The seven colored earths are now surrounded by lush vegetation and the picturesque Shamrill waterfall, which cascades down a huge height, adding to the area's beauty. Visitors to the site can explore all around and even visit an enclosure with giant tortoises. It's the lines of color in the ground that give it such an aura of mystery, though, it's a sensation that's hard to describe until you're there and experiencing it yourself. Number 5. The Plain of Jars in Laos. Laos is a region that has a huge amount of forgotten history, and one of the most enduring mysteries is the Plain of Jars. Its location is in the center of the country, and the landscape is dotted with thousands of large stone jars, some weighing up to several tons, scattered across hundreds of sites. The jars, which date back to the Iron Age from around 2,500 years ago, have fascinated archaeologists and researchers for decades now. The jars vary in size, with some standing as tall as 10 feet and others just a few inches high. They're typically carved from sedimentary rock, including sandstone, conglomerate, and granite, that was sourced from nearby quarries. A number of theories have been put forward regarding the purpose of the jars, with the most likely one being that they were part of a burial practice. This is supported by the discovery of burial goods and ceramic fragments in and around some of the jars, possibly with the hope that their contents would be passed on to the afterlife. According to local legends, though, the jars were created to brew and store vast quantities of rice wine to celebrate a victorious military campaign led by a king named Kunchung. Another theory suggests that the jars may have been used to collect and store rainwater, a crucial resource in the region's dry climate. The largest and most accessible jar sites are located near the town of Fonsaven, and despite their age, they're surprisingly well-preserved. This whole area is designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and study continues to try to finally understand their purpose. But things aren't getting any easier. 
the area has often been bombed during conflicts and remains littered with landmines, making it almost impossible to access some of the sites for investigation. Number 4. Mount Shasta in the U.S. Mount Shasta, at a height of over 14,000 feet in Northern California, is a stratovolcano that's part of the Cascade Range, and it's surrounded by mystery. One of the most regularly told stories about it is the legend of the lost continent of Lemuria. Believers claim that an ancient, advanced civilization from Lemuria fled to Mount Shasta following the continent's catastrophic sinking into the Pacific. According to the myth, these Lemurians built a hidden city named Telos beneath the mountain, where they live in secret to this day. Another mystery involves Mount Shasta's role as a center of spiritual energy. The mountain is believed by some to be one of the Earth's major energy vortices, similar to other sacred sites like Sedona, Arizona, and Machu Picchu in Peru. Many visitors report feeling a powerful spiritual presence and experiencing transformative meditations and healing while on or near the mountain. UFO sightings and other unexplained aerial phenomena are also linked to the mountain, with regular reports of strange lights, flying saucers, and orbs, with some suggesting that the mountain could be an extraterrestrial base or a portal to other dimensions. As well as these modern-day stories, the mountain is an important place in Native American beliefs. The tribes of the region have long regarded Mount Shasta as a sacred place, and according to their traditions, the mountain is the dwelling place of the Creator and is imbued with spiritual significance. Beyond all these mysteries, though, it could well also prove to be a massively influential mountain in the future, as because it's classified as an active volcano, it could well be the site of a serious event at some point in the future. Number 3. The Chocolate Hills, Philippines The Chocolate Hills, located on the island of Bohol in the Philippines, create a stunning natural landscape, and with as many as 1,776 of them, they have become one of the most famous landmarks in the country. They get their name from their appearance during the dry season, when the grass covering the hills turns brown and begins to resemble mounds of chocolate. It is an incredible transformation that takes place and one that attracts people from around the world. The origin of the Chocolate Hills, though, is the subject of scientific interest and local legend, and scientifically, there are still some missing pieces to the explanation of how they were formed. Geological studies have shown that they're the result of limestone weathering, erosion, and the uplift of coral deposits from an ancient seafloor, and over millions of years, they've created these cone-shaped hills. Their precise shape, the large number of them, and why they aren't themselves eroding away isn't entirely clear, and it's still the subject of investigation. There is, of course, an explanation beyond science, and there's a more romantic story from local folklore. Legend has it that a giant named Arogo fell in love with a mortal woman named Aloya. When she died, Arogo was heartbroken and couldn't stop crying, and it was his tears that formed the chocolate hills as they dried and solidified under the sun. The chocolate hills have become a popular tourist attraction in the Philippines drawing visitors from far and wide. Now there's a viewing deck called the Chocolate Hills Complex that gives unparalleled panoramic views of the wonders. It's there that visitors can climb to the top and take in the breathtaking sight of the rolling, chocolate-colored hills that stretch into the distance as far as the eye can see. Number 2. Hauska Castle in Czechia Hauska Castle, deep within the forest of Czechia, is around 30 miles or 47 kilometers to the north of Prague, and it's considered to be one of the country's most mysterious and creepy sites. It was built in the 13th century during the reign of Ottokar II of Bohemia and has since become steeped in legends and dark folklore. What sets Hauska Castle apart from other medieval fortresses is its unusual location and the unusual purpose behind it. Unlike most castles, which are strategically built to defend against invaders or oversee a territory, Hauska Castle is far from any trade routes, water sources, or even military sites. Its seemingly impractical location has led many to speculate that the castle was not built to keep something out, but rather to keep something in. At the center of the castle's mystery is the legend of a large bottomless pit that's located beneath it, which is said to be a gateway to hell. According to folklore, the hole was so deep that it was impossible to see the bottom, and terrifying creatures were believed to emerge from it at night. These creatures were said to be half-human, half-beast, and their sightings struck fear into the hearts of the villagers. To contain these entities, the castle was constructed directly over the pit, with the chapel positioned above it to seal the supposed gateway and protect the world from the forces of evil. Throughout the centuries, there have been countless reports of paranormal activity within the castle. Visitors have reported hearing strange noises, seeing ghostly apparitions, and experiencing sudden drops in temperature. One of the most common tales involves the spirit of a mad monk who is said to wander the castle grounds. Another speaks of prisoners who were pardoned if they agreed to be lowered into the pit, with those who returned describing horrifying visions. So associated with bizarre occurrences, 
the castle was taken over by the Nazis during World War II, where they were said to have conducted experiments in the occult. Quite what they did there was never revealed, and this further adds to the mystery about it all. Now it's time for today's topic. Recently, off the coast of Florida, near the mysterious Bermuda Triangle, a strange and terrifying phenomenon has left both locals and experts in shock. The ocean, typically vast and unbroken, appears to have been split in two, revealing a deep, dark chasm that seems to stretch endlessly into the depths. Fishermen and boaters in the area have reported witnessing the sea parting, with towering walls of water on either side and an abyss that seems to have no bottom. The phenomenon is as if the ocean itself has been torn apart, exposing a secret that was never meant to be uncovered. Speculation runs wild. Could this be the result of unknown natural forces? Or is it connected to the countless mysteries and disappearances associated with the Bermuda Triangle? Whatever the cause, this unsettling sight has everyone questioning what lies beneath the surface and what other secrets the ocean might be hiding from us. But some skeptics suggest that what people are seeing could just be an optical illusion, a trick of the light playing with the ocean's vast expanse. The truth remains as elusive as the depths themselves. Number 1. Mount Kailash in Tibet We often hear about the early explorers who scaled the tallest mountains in the world and the number of people who, in modern times, followed in their footsteps. It comes as a surprise, though, that there are still a number of mountains that no one has ever climbed, and the most mysterious of them all is Mount Kailash in Tibet. At 21,778 feet, it's an isolated and pyramid-shaped mountain that's by no means the tallest in the Himalayas, but its religious significance and the stories surrounding it make it a place of immense spiritual and cultural importance. It's highly important in four major religions, Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism, and Bon. Mount Kailash is often regarded as the spiritual center of the universe. For Hindus, it's considered the earthly manifestation of Mount Meru, the cosmic mountain that serves as the axis mundi connecting heaven and earth, and it is the home of Lord Shiva, one of the principal deities of the Hindu pantheon, and his consort Parvati. Buddhists hold Mount Kailash equally in high regard, considering it the home of Demchak, a deity associated with supreme bliss. Tibetan Buddhists perform the Kora, a pilgrimage that involves walking around the mountain's base, which they believe earns merit and purifies negative karma. In Jainism, Mount Kailash is recognized as Mount Ashtapada, where the first Jain Tirthankara attained liberation. Jains consider the mountain a place of great spiritual energy and significance. Similarly, in the Bon religion, Mount Kailash is regarded as the seat of spiritual power and is believed to be home to the sky goddess Sapaman. Mount Kailash's unique shape, often described as a giant diamond or pyramid, has also given rise to various mystical and metaphysical theories. Some have questioned its geometric precision, suggesting it may be a man-made structure or an ancient pyramid. These theories, though largely speculative, add another layer of mystery to the mountain. Its shape too has also prevented people from trying to climb it because, unlike most other mountains, there's no obvious route to the summit. With the likelihood that authorities will never grant permission for anyone to try to climb a place that's so important, it's possible that it will remain one of the last unexplored frontiers on Earth. Which of these places intrigue you the most? Tell us in the comments down below. See you in the next video.